Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm going to try something entirely new and take on something that I saw another YouTuber do. Here to help me today are my daughters, and we're going to take on a Pringles food challenge. So, I know this is a DIY channel, but I've always wanted to introduce a few other things that interest me from time to time, try new things, because DIY is all about experimentation and trying different things. I've been watching a lot of food videos lately, uh, different competitive eaters taking on food challenges, and they always seem to get stuck on certain things that are hard to eat, not necessarily because they have a lot of volume, but because they're hard on the mouth. I was watching a food video by Matt Stoney where he took several family-sized packages of Sour Patch Kids and tried to eat them all, and it got so bad that the texture and the sourness of it all was so difficult on his tongue that it actually started to bleed. That's not at all what we want to accomplish here today, but we thought, let's try a challenge that's maybe not about huge amounts of volume, but it is about something that could be a little bit difficult to eat and eating a lot of chips, which are salty and crunchy, and just see how that goes. I watched a YouTube video where Beard Meets Food and his wife took on a Pringles challenge with 10 tubes of Pringles, uh, about a thousand chips in total, and tried to accomplish the whole thing together. They didn't. Mrs. Beard thought she could eat two tubes and only ate half a tube. And Beard himself thought that he could eat uh, whatever the difference was and he ended up with only five. So here we've only got eight. We're not competitive eaters, but we're gonna give it our shot. We're each gonna start with one tube of the original and see how much we can do. My daughters think they can each eat one tube. I've already tested it. I know I can eat one. We're gonna see how many more we can get done. So without further ado, let's get started. Start with one? Yeah, sure, let's pop it. Pop it. Pop, play, eat. You won because you did faster? <laughs> You gonna smell what? The can. The can and the chip together. Oh, I see. <laughs> ah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay all mine out. That's a whole tube. It's supposed to be about a hundred chips. And the calories. It's a hundred and fifty calories for sixteen chips. So pretty close to ten calories per chip, which means about a thousand calories per container. Sounds pretty good. good luck, How many calories are you guys supposed to eat in a day? Um, oh. 2400? No, I think you guys are about 1500. And for my size, I'm about 23 to 2500. And boys are like 3000. Depends on how big you are, how much activity, that kind of thing. One of the things I'm always amazed with with the competitive eaters is how they can just condition themselves to eat something like way after it's enjoyable anymore. You know, like you think, oh, we just eat a bunch of chips. That sounds great. But after a while, like the flavor and stuff is so terrible. It's because you're sick of having the same thing over and over again. You guys do them one at a time? I'll try three. Compared to other professional athletes, you know, competitive eaters can stretch their body like such a vast amount. Like, mm -hmm. if you run 100 meters, right, 100, fastest guy in the world, Usain Bolt, nine and a half seconds. But I could probably run 100 meters in 20 seconds. So he's, you know, just a little faster than twice as fast. But, you know, top guy in the world, Joey Chestnut, he could eat over 70 hot dogs in 10 minutes. And even that, I don't, you know, I, I can eat fast, but I don't think I could eat more than seven hot dogs in 10 minutes. So, you know, that's pretty incredible. That they're more than 10 times better than the average person, let's say, where the fastest guy in the world only eat twice as fast. Though they are called, or though we think of them as potato chips, they actually do have, um, Corn starch, corn flour, yeah, wheat starch. So, mom is gluten free, so of course that 
means that she can't partake in the Pringles challenge. If it was any other potato chip, she probably could because uh, they're mostly potatoes. Time to do the Dorito bag challenge. <laughs> what? The Dorito bag challenge. Mm. It does feel like on those Halloween candies and chips that they don't portion them very well. Mm -hmm. I think they, they just, just don't care. They're like, ah. Because yeah, like, I remember getting like uh, Sour Patch Kids or, or you know, some little gummies like that. Mm -hmm. And some of those packages are like bulging and they have like 20 mm -hmm. of them in there. And then the other mm -hmm. one has but three five. or something. Yeah. yeah. Where are we at? Cool. Got a third done? I'll go I got about half done, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think a lot of those challenges, they make them harder by making it something that it's hard to eat. Yeah, like it's gummy a gummy, like, like all sticks oh, it should be really easy to swallow, but the more you chew it, the more it sticks and the more it, you know, feels sticky and you can't really get out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Either you can eat it or you can't eat it. Yeah. You know, not like, oh, you got to eat it. Now you got to do this and now you got to wait this much time or now you got to do this, do that. It's like either you can eat it or you can't eat it. So we only brought three originals. We got uh, ketchup, sour cream, salt and vinegar, barbecue, and pizza left. I don't like sour cream and onion, so I'll let you guys eat that one next. It's pretty different the way you eat food when you're eating it for yourself at home or when you're eating it out in public. You know, so much of the way you eat food is like mm -hmm. what seems polite, right? Well, how much you got left? A lot. <laughs> Probably down to the last third. I only have two. Oh, you got maybe, yeah, maybe um, 20% left, something like that. And I just finished the first tube. So, one tube down for a non-competitive eater. Seems like a good start. Mm, I think I'm going ketchup chip next. Those are probably going to be pretty um, hard on the tongue. It's actually my lips that are burning more than my tongue. Yeah. Like yours too? But you're not shoving them in as much. Yeah, maybe like, that's it. Can you shove them in? I just find like right in this mouth. front part of my lower lip is where it really gets me. Here's a second tube. Trying to be nice. Ketchup. It's a pretty economical food challenge. You know, some of the ones I've seen cost like $100 <laughs> for the meal at a restaurant or something. Mm -hmm. This one's like, it was $1.67 per tube, I think. So even with eight tubes, we're still 13 bucks or something. I'm a pretty big guy, so I think most people think like, oh, you should be able to eat quite a bit. I'm always amazed though at the, like most competitive eaters or even people that can eat a lot seem to be small people sometimes. Well, these girls have both done better than Mrs. Beard so far. How are you guys feeling for actual fullness? You're full? I'm feeling not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately I think that's our whole family. It's like, I'm full, but that still looks good, so I'm just gonna keep eating. There we go. One tube down. Nice. Sour cream and onion next. They didn't smell terrible. I don't like sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. I don't mind sour cream and anything else, and I actually really like onions, but for some reason I just never liked sour cream and onion. I think we're all getting that runny nose that comes mm -hmm. to your, your body telling you that you've, you're full. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's for? Eating enough food, yeah. yeah. I did not know Your that. nose runs when your, your body's telling you, hey, look, I've had enough food now, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. I just figured it's because the um, like spicy onions, these aren't really spicy, but they have like fangs, so I was like, maybe. Mm -mm. Maybe it's because it's cold down here. <laughs> no, it's a cry for help. Competitive eating is kind of gross to the point where like, I mean, they'd suffer some really big indignities from trying to pack that much food in, in a short time. Like throwing up or <clears throat> pooping themselves. Kind of, kind of gross, but. You're definitely the slowest eater in the family. Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing. 
supposed to chew your food 20 times or something for every bite. So you're probably above average. <laughs> well, it's also amazing that like sometimes the first place person in a competitive eating challenge, like you'd think these are all like the best competitive eaters in the world, that they'd be pretty close. But sometimes it seems like there's like 30 or 40 items ahead at the end of a challenge. You know, like somebody eats 70 hot dogs and then the next person eats like 50. <laughs> it's like, you know, it wasn't even that close. If um, parents would sit their children down and just make them eat Pringles till they were like sick of them, they would never eat that it would stop them from eating Pringles. Mm -hmm. For a while. It would like maybe be a cure for obesity. Well, that's the thing, like, but, but, you know, people will think that, like, you know, they catch their kids smoking, so they'll make them smoke a whole pack of cigarettes, thinking that, you know, they'll never want to smoke again. I don't know if that actually works. Because I like chips, I want to eat chips till I throw up, or chips till I can't fit another one in. Like, most of the time, you want some chips, you, you make yourself a bowl of chips, or you eat a few chips out of the bag, or, or you eat a small bag of chips, and you're like, that was enough. That's enough right now. You know, I'm feeling good. Um, you know, you doing that more would make you really sick of it at that moment. But the next time you're craving something salty, like my tongue is feeling pretty raw right now. My tongue is feeling pretty raw. At the very back of my cheek, like just by my jaw. Yeah. That's where it feels like you feel it rub there. Where you lose your teeth would come. Mm. I don't feel like my stomach doesn't feel like super full, like I couldn't eat anymore. But like if you're eating like a really good meal or you're at like a buffet or something and you keep finding really good foods to eat and your stomach's like already sore and tight and like you ate too much already but you're like, oh, I never tried this yet or whatever. And so it's kind of got that appeal. Like here, my stomach doesn't feel that full. It feels full, but it doesn't feel like that full. But I have no desire to keep eating these chips. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's, it's totally opposite of the buffet effect. You're just like, yeah, I had these. Yeah, I had enough of these already. Yeah, it's not like they're like, start tasting horrible, but it's just so much of the same taste. Oh, uh -huh. each of us has now completed one and you're going to start the pizza. Nice. What kind of pizza is it supposed to be? You think? No idea. Probably just like pizza. Pepperoni. It kind of just looks like cheese or maybe pepperoni cheese. The shavings that you put <laughs> in the bottom of a hamster cage. You can't, you can't try a ketchup chip. You put the last two in his mouth. I'm like, you're still holding them. I forgot. Well, that's two tubes down. We've got to watch how much time has passed. One, two tubes down. Oh, but probably what half an hour. I don't know. I haven't been watching the time of the video, so probably half an hour deep right now. I feel like barbecue would be the better play. It's yes. a long-term eating, yes. So I don't know if I got more than one more tube in me. Um, the only other option is salt and vinegar, which will be murder. Salt and vinegar, although if you leave it till the very end, that sounds like a hospital visit. <laughs> okay, Here's a barbecue. I'll check or no. I <laughs> will give you a barbecue chip and you can give her a sour cream and onion and I'll take a pizza. I was like, wait, what? But yes, that works. Barbecue for you. Pizza for you. Sour cream and onion for you. Thank you. Pizza for me. Chip swap. Okay, I will. I will try one sour cream and onion. I'm usually pretty good about trying at least one of something that I hate. I feel like I can breathe smoke now. Yes. Because I had a barbecue. Now here goes the uh, sour cream and onion. So 
After everything else I've eaten today, it's not quite as bad. But they're not terrible. The other thing that's popular right now with Pringles, because of how they fit together, is the idea that you take like a barbecue and a pizza, and you make like a barbecue oh, pizza. I want a barbecue pizza because I, I want, want a barbecue pizza. Okay. I will swap you. And then I'll put a barbecue and a pizza together. I mean, I can give you both a sour cream and onion. <laughs> <laughs> We're enjoying those so much. Ready? Barbecue pizza. Let's do it. Barbecue pizza. I don't know if I can taste the pizza at all. Mm. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I hadn't had a barbecue yet, but the barbecue's got such a smoky flavor to it that you don't really get the pizza notes you just get the strongest flavor comes through <sighs> I think I can finish this one last bit. and now sink a little below half mm -hmm. yeah looking pretty good you must have yeah two thirds gone bright do you taste like something but I can't remember what I've only taken one Five stack tips. out <laughs> <laughs> I think I've eaten most of the pizza ones just in swaps. We so. shared them all around. Mm -hmm. What would you rate your chances of finishing that second two bar? Zero. Zero. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. If I don't throw up, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw up. Yeah, you're going to throw up. Yeah, I'm 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 going if you're training to be an athlete in something else, like, um, I don't know, anything really, like a bodybuilder or whatever, like you're lifting weights and you're hurting your body and, it, you know, it's painful and there's like a strict diet or whatever. But at the same time, you're creating a physique that you can feel proud of or that, you know, would get you attention and people be like, wow, you know, look at him or look at her. Like, you know, they're big muscles and, you know, whatever. But like competitive eating... The best competitive eaters seem to just be like skinny people that are, you know, relatively fit, but doesn't have that same kind of payoff. Well, I think the other thing like competitive eating is like, you just feel like, oh, you could just have a license to eat as much of whatever you enjoy eating as you want. But this is not it. It's like, it's like you, you just eat way more than what you would ever enjoy of something. You're so sick of it, but you're still eating it. You know how dense how calorie dense is it versus how physically dense it is right like like something like, like eating pure meat it's really heavy in protein but it doesn't really have as many calories as something like you know just eating potato chips right mm, yeah and then eating a big steak really just feels like it weighs you down i think the biggest steak i've ever eaten about 22 ounces like one pound six ounces that is very large it's fairly large but i watch like other competitive eater eat uh well other competitive eater i'm not competitive eater mm -hmm. competitive <laughs> but eaters. but watch competitive eaters do like 72 ounce steak mm -hmm. so it takes like my best ever <laughs> or my biggest ever and more than triples it mm -hmm. and when i was done that steak like because it was like steak and like i don't know fries or mashed potatoes or something and I just remember like barely being able to walk after it just felt like I was eating so much. How about this way? Straight up and down. <laughs> Did you just stick it in your lips in, like, in front of your teeth? In front of my teeth, yeah. It wouldn't fit behind my teeth. Because <laughs> your mouth doesn't open that wide. Hmm. And I felt my jaws cramping as I did it. Oh, nice. Well, I guess we can tell mom what we want for dinner. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing. I thought maybe they would throw up the food afterwards because it's like so much food. Like I watched a poutine competition where I think Beard Meets Food ate like 16 and a half pounds of poutine in 10 minutes or something. That's too much. So I thought you just throw it up after. But that's not what they do. They let it digest. But then like the next few days, they'll eat hardly any food at all. Or even sometimes like fast for a couple days. 
And I think that would also be hard, kind of mentally, like, one day you're eating a ton of food, the next day you're not eating anything at all. Although, after eating these, I probably won't want to tomorrow. eat for a little while. Not not counting breakfast. Not counting breakfast. Just this. I'm very close. Like, I probably hit my daily amount right now after eating two and a half tubes of Pringles. But, honestly, I think if I started the day by <laughs> eating two and a half tubes of Pringles every morning, you could eat more things. I probably just wouldn't want to eat the rest of the day. Possibly <laughs> that too. So maybe that's actually a diet. I can also see why they like the sweet beverage at the end. Like Beard Me Too. He eats the sweet. Yeah, it's just a really nice refreshment after all of the... <clears throat> which will get us pop. And then we try that. Me? Yeah. I should have just pop? Well, you're close to the door. It doesn't actually hurt the mouth that much, though. Like, at no, this point. No, my mouth is fine now. Mm -hmm. It's the, the not wanting yeah. to eat it. Or you're just not enjoyable anymore. <clears throat> and there was the no more eating shutter. The what? The no more shutter. shutter. Well, I've watched some competitive eaters get to the point where they keep pushing the food back in and it keeps <clears throat> bulging out of their mouth. They gotta keep pushing it back in. That's why I say it's not that glamorous. It's kind of a weird psychology that you would even enjoy watching that. It's not even good at all mm -hmm. anymore. Two and a half Pringles tubes and uh, and a Coke Zero. What's that cup? Want some? Want first drink? Yeah. <laughs> what we should probably do is I'll go walking, but what I feel like doing is going napping. Mm. Well, I think it's way more impressive to say a two full tubes than like one in mm. most of the tubes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping like so much more of it in my mouth now before I swallow. <laughs> I think I can tell why most food competitions are fast. The longer you go, the more I think just mentally your whole body and everything just fights it. Yeah. Even most of the food challenges I've seen with competitive eaters kind of the 40 minute mark. If they don't have it almost done, the 40 minute mark, they're probably not getting it done. It just seems like the body just kicks in too many signals to stop at that point. The only thing that would be different, mm -hmm. I think, is if you went to like some sort of um, all you can eat where they'd bring you different courses, because then you wouldn't be packing in quite as much all at once. Mm -hmm. You would just be like, you know, like, like all you can eat shrimp at, at Red Lobster. Like I find like you could eat that for a couple hours because you're only getting like 10 or 15 shrimp at a time. So it's not, you know, and then you might wait 10 more minutes for the next one or whatever. So it's not, it's not as uh, painful. Well, I was thinking yeah, as a dad, make it worse. as a dad, it's pretty weird to have um, like pride in how much your kids can eat, <laughs> especially your daughters. Like, you know. <laughs> My, My daughter. daughter ate two whole tubes of Pringles. Yeah, exactly. Isn't she amazing? It's one sitting. <laughs> Why are the guys not lining up down the street? <laughs> Can you imagine if you had a whole family of competitive eaters? <laughs> Supper time would not be like a nice meal. It would be everyone competing to see who we could eat their supper fast. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets the same portion. Yeah, like a hundred hamburgers for four people. <laughs> Everyone gets 25. Yeah. Good luck, whoever wins. Yes, just get breakfast. So we gotta have a better well, catch at the next. It would also be a weird thing, like, because food is usually such a social thing, but competitive eating mm -hmm. takes what's supposed to be like a relaxed, comfortable thing and turns it into competition. And everyone's like trying to win. Yeah. Yeah. To, like, scarf down food. yeah. I'm glad a little bit of a second wind here. No. Maybe maybe it's the pop actually. Maybe that sweetness and stuff, it just kinda cleanses the palate and reset a little bit. I mean it's not like I want to eat any more than the what's left here, but it feels doable again. Is 
Will we have one more chip left? No. Oh. No, I like can only fit one more chip in. If you throw up, we'll just edit that part out. What should <laughs> no, I do in your cup? No, you just run to the bathroom. That's what mm -hmm. we do. One last chip, you can do it as we finish no, up. Oh, the other one's still in my mouth. <laughs> I'm so done with it. Is that a quarter? Maybe. 20 to 25 percent, something like that. Comment below. Yeah. So. I don't want to eat for a little while. <laughs> I don't want to eat Pringles for a while. I don't want to do anything for a while. Yeah. And I would say, uh, I'd say I feel full. I don't feel like stretched to the limit. Like I say, like a big buffet meal where you like just want to try everything or that looks so good or so tasted so good you want more. But also, yeah, I, I don't want to stick anything else in my mouth for a while. The thought of eating something else is okay. The thought of eating another chip is not. Yeah, maybe that would help too. I just don't want to eat anything. I just feel like the energy, like my energy levels come way down since the beginning. <laughs> it just kind of feels like, yeah, I don't know. We're good. We're good. So, end of the challenge. I managed to eat three full tubes. Two full tubes. One and a quarter -ish. One in 20 to 25%-ish of a tube but i think we proved uh, we can keep up with at least mrs beard from beard meets food mm -hmm. and i think we represented ourselves uh fairly well for non-competitive eaters i guess we just have some uh natural ability so if you found this challenge interesting and you'd like to see us try other things you know let us know in the comments what things we should try or if you were disgusted and repulsed feel free to let us know that too Next week, I'll be back with more DIY projects and those things, but we thought we'd try something different. And I hope you like this first and maybe only episode of Bald Guy Tries. Until next time, in all your <laughs> endeavors, don't be afraid to stretch a little. Don't be afraid to be balder. What do we end up eating? Six? Mine over here. Six and three quarters. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shut it up. Thanks.